Nolagen here, Rosie's on the roof. <laughs> Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, you are invited to eat with me bar food at a new bar New Orleans has just gained named Rosie's on the Roof. Located in the Higgins Hotel, which is the National World War II Museum's hotel partner directly across the street from the World War II Museum. So as you're going in, you can look right across the street through the windows here to see some World War II equipment. This area is more of a workshop and it's not really part of the museum that you can tour. And when you go into the hotel, you can see that Rosie's on the rooftop is literally all the way on top of the roof on the ninth floor. And when you exit, this is what you see. Now I will have a, another video on just the hotel. I have a lot of uh, footage from that as well. But they do have a lot of interesting things inside here that relate to World War II. And you can get a lot of information from just things they've posted all around the walls here. I'll let you read this on your own if you want to. So in this Travel With Me vlog, we will take you to see this great bird's eye view at the newest rooftop bar that has a must-see view here at Rosie's on the Roof. And uh, they offer a fantastic view of New Orleans. We are looking for the top drinks New Orleans bars offer that are the best places to drink in New Orleans. Now for full disclosure, this episode will include my first visit to Rosie's on Veterans Day 2020, where I received a veterans discount, and my second visit, where I received some complimentary food and drinks as part of a Yelp Elite promotion. The food at Rosie's is not going to rate in any of the top restaurant review videos for the best options for authentic New Orleans food, and it certainly is more basic bar food. The amazing must-see view here, though, does make this a must-do bar, and it has become a place to drink where locals drink to enjoy the views of the city. This New Orleans vlogger certainly enjoy the drinks more than the food, but they do have some good snacks here that will never make this one of the best places to eat New Orleans food, but they work out for a snack. So there is a lot of good energy in here, though, when you come up. Um, they do have... A nice concise selection of beers here that should satisfy most people. And then the bar area is uh, definitely comfortable in here. You just don't get the view inside the bar that you do out on the patio next to all of the outside area you get to see. And as you look in here in these cabinets, they have a lot of World War II memorabilia randomly put out as decorations. You might not even notice all of this stuff in the case back here unless you walk up close to it. So you certainly want to take a little time to walk around and explore all the different nooks and crannies of this bar as they have a lot of stuff crammed into here that isn't necessarily available to view at your first glance. So you definitely need to kind of do a little uh, nosiness to hunt around and view all of the different areas in here to see all there is to see. So there's also some uh, nice little food items over here you might want to take a look at if you're interested in dessert. So our uh, ice cream selection here is pretty decent. The New Orleans ice cream is a pretty good ice cream typically. And they have some other brands and types of ice cream in here as well. So you can uh, certainly see even more things all over the place, both in art, history, and food-wise. Now we're going to come out and look on this wonderful patio, and you can already start to see some of the view here. And then they have one little covered area with a larger table that looks like it could be a really good time for parties right here. So this is interesting. Nolajet here. Rosie's on the rooftop. Nice little view over here, see? <laughs> Prost! <sighs> Cheers. Happy Veterans Day out there to all of y'all uh, other veterans. Yeah! So, you really get a unique view of New Orleans from the rooftop view here. The other rooftop bars in New Orleans give a completely different perspective and angle of viewing. So this definitely is a must-see view to really get an appreciation from what you can see from this direction. Prost. Here at Rosie's. Good times. On the rooftop. 
laptop, yay. So we got our menus and under our draft beer list, we have a Vita Amber, which I'm drinking, a Gnarly Barley Juicifer, a Gnarly Barley Caroba Milk Porter, a Nola Brewing Company Blonde, a Parish Brewing Company Ghost in the Machine, Dixie Brewing Company Lager, Urban South Brewing Company Paradise Park, Urban South Brewing Company Who Dat Hill, Michelob Ultra, and a Port Orleans Dorado. And those are mostly uh, local Louisiana breweries. And then bottles and cans and hard seltzer, we have Bud Light, Corona Extra, Heineken, Stella Artois, Abita Amber, Cane Break, and Miller High Life, and Paps Blue Ribbon, and White Claw Black Cherry. Then our cocktails, we have the Higgins, the Pistol Pack and Mama, the Trade Winds, the Riveter, Built for Two, the Skylark, Tico Tico, and In the Mood, and the Frenze, and the Moscow Mule, and a Mojito. Then we have our small plates with spinach and artichoke dip, crab beignets, Rosie's wings, candied bacon wrap Brussels sprouts, fill and eat shrimp, riveteer fries, smoked fish dip, charcuterie and farm cheese board, and then Chef Virgil's chicken gumbo, shareables with chef salad, baby kel salad, Caesar salad, jerk marinated chicken taco, shrimp oyster po'boy wrap, Rosie's smashed hamburger, duck confit grilled cheese and red fish and chips and for sweet things they have beignets warm chocolate cake and bread pudding so with my yelp elite perk i had two free cocktails coming my way so i got the higgins which is old granddad bourbon blood orange syrup reagan's orange bitters and peixos bitters and orange and it was a nice drink that i did enjoy and i also tried the pistol pack and mama which is buffalo trace bourbon honey syrup, ginger bitters, and lemon. This was also a crisp, refreshing drink. And then for a snack, I got the really delicious crab beignets, and I was quite happy with them. Super light and fluffy. Just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button like I destroyed those crab beignets and give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. Then we run into some trouble. On my first visit, I got this duck confit grilled cheese, which was horrible on my first visit. And it was full of gristle and it was burned and it really was inedible. And there's no way this was shareable. A pathetic amount of french fries here. On my second return visit, I mentioned this to the manager and showed him a picture of what I got, and he gave me this much improved version that was way, way better. It was like a night and day difference. So definitely there was some inconsistency in that dish, so I would be cautious with that. I completely deleted the video of my first attempt at eating that duck confit because it was such just a horrible experience It wasn't really edible. Um, for the second visit, I was still so cautious, I didn't even bother filming it, thinking it was going to be a repeat of the first experience, but it ended up being a very good sandwich. So, uh, definitely, if they maintain the quality of the second visit, it is a 
good sandwich to try, but it's still not enough for two people. It's definitely a snack. So overall, Rosie's on the Roof is a great place to enjoy a drink and enjoy the amazing and unique perspective of the view that they offer here. You do have to pay a premium for that unique view though, and uh, this is a lot more expensive than many other places in the city. You could combine this with a day tour of the National World War II Museum and end up over here to complete it to have a full, fun, enjoyable day before going off and having dinner somewhere else. Although you could get a snack here depending on your appetite. Maybe if you have a smaller appetite, you could make a meal out of what they offer here. So if you're in the area, definitely stop in to check it out as the view alone is worth a visit. And make sure to tune in for our next episode for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.